How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So you have chosen the Golden Deer led by Claude, correct? Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh! I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. If there's no meat involved, it's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. 
Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? Right, I'll do whatever I can to help too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... Yeah, yeah, wink, wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Of course, a fair fight, as all fights are. Good one, Teach. Play innocent now so they won't see it coming. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude? Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win.
stay focused. Who, me? Ready and willing. Leave it to me. Who, me? I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... <laughs> I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes, keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Sire, how did I fail? I must need to train harder. Sorry, did I hurt you? Strong. Have to do better next time. It was a good try. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. Such power dwells within. is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. Was that helpful? I could use a break. Are you planning on fighting two houses at once? I will admit that is favorable for us. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead.
being mindful. Stay focused. Go no further. You underestimated me. Oops. Your princeliness. You gotta thank for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. That didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Shall we dance? Progress suits me well. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you.
It seems I've exhausted this topic. That, a real-life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? To retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Sorry. Comprehension. Yeah! Oh, well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. I put in some work. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move.
stay focused. Who, me? It's your call. Ready and willing. Progress suits me well. battle experience is, well, I was as good as useless. I guess it worked out. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. Uh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! I love it! As expected from a child of the former Captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leone? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the Eagle and Lion, which will take place during the Wyvern Moon. 
You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Nonsense! All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Get back here! Damn you! 